Thank you, Lord. 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 Yes, God.
Lord, we thank you, God, for your goodness, your grace, and for your mercy, God. Father, we thank you right now for soaking and clothing this place with your presence, God. And Father, we thank you for the kingdom sound that's in this place. Father, it's not just the sound, God, but it's a kingdom sound, God. And Father, we thank you that you're sounding the alarm of worship, God. Father, I thank you for the quickening in this place even. Right now, God, of you having your way, God. Of you moving and working the way you desire to work, God. You speaking the way you desire to speak. You changing, God, the way you desire to change. And God, we just want to say thank you, God. Father, I thank you for your word, God, where you say out of the mouths of babes and sucklings, God. Thou have ordained praise, God. So, Father, we thank you, God, for you moving, God, because it's in your word, God. Father, we thank you for the kids, God. Not just the youth, God, but we are the king's kids also, God. And, Father, we come today to suck on you, God. Father, we come to pull on you, God, from your presence, God, in the name of Jesus, God. And Father, we thank you, God, for even right now, God, for you releasing a sound, God, a echo, God, in the name of Jesus, God. And Father, because, God, there's a sound, God, there's going to be a movement, God. There's going to be some evidence, God, and we just want to say thank you, God. Father, I just ask you to have your own way, God. Have your own way in the name of Jesus, God. Be greatly glorified in this place, God. Father, we desire to make you smile, God. It's just, you're our daddy, God. We want to see you smile at us, God. In spite of all our shortcomings, God, we come to make you smile, God. God, there's something that is so hard to make smile, God. But God, we come pleading the blood today, God. Because we want to make you smile. So here's our worship, God. Make it your dwelling place, God. Father, we thank you right now, God, for all that are in this place right now, God. Father, we thank you for your sons and for your daughters, God. And Father, we thank you that you are our Father, God. That our Father is the King of kings. And he's the Lord of Lords. He's Alpha and he's Omega. He's our Rose of Sharon. He's our bridge over troubled waters. He's our wheel in the middle of the wheel. He's our Lord and he's our Savior. He's our kinsman redeemer. And Father, we thank you right now, God, that you are Prince of Peace, God. You are healer right now, God. God, you are the one that makes us whole. And God, we just want to say thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Right now, God, we thank you, God, for stirring the waters, God. For stilling the storm, God. For stilling the enemy, God. For tranquilizing our problems, God. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you right now. Father, we thank you right now, God. That while we was yet in our sin, God, you sent your son to die. You commended your love toward us, God. And Father, your word says, for God so loved the world. God, you loved us to the point you expressed your love, God. You express your love, God, by coming through 42 generations, God. You express your love, God, by being beaten, God, being spit on, God, being pierced in your side, God. You express your love, God. And you're still expressing your love to us, God, each day, God, with new mercies, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
for giving us agape love, God. That's unconditional love. Father, we, we thank you, God. And Father, we love you, God, because you first loved us. That's the reason why we love you, God, because you first loved us, God. You didn't cut us off, God, but you, you kept on loving us, God. And you're still loving us, God. Father, you allowed some things to happen, God, and you did it all because you were loving us, God. God, you could have stopped some things, God, but you knew, God, it would cause us to call on you, God, and it was all done out of love, God. And Father, I just want to say thank you, God. Have mercy upon us, God. And Father, I pray, God, as we get ready to go on your word, God, that you would speak to us, God. God, that we would hear from heaven, God. Speaking to us, God, this very day in the name of Jesus, God. And Father, I pray, God, to be sensitive to your spirit right now, God. To be tuned into you right now. In the name of Jesus, God, that you will pour grace upon my lips, God. Have me to speak with clarity and with conviction. Use me with great grace and great power, God. You be glorified, God. You be glorified, God. You save, God. You heal. You deliver. You convict, God. You confirm, God. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you. Father, I yield to you right now, God. Yes, Father, as I decrease, God, I ask you to increase and increase mightily, God. Father, I thank you. I praise you and give you all the glory. And it's in Jesus' mighty name. Let us all say amen, amen. Amen. A wonderful God. A wonderful Master. Awesome Redeemer. Thank you, sister. Yes. Fred say you are the living word. Did he say Jesus, Jesus? <laughs> Lord have mercy. Yeah, there's a sweet spirit in this place. I thank God for. Jesus, I thank God for each and every one of you. I want to give the, the youth praise team a hand right now. Amen. Amen. I, I'm going to read you something from uh, Revelations. I'm not going to preach from Revelations, but I'm going to read you something, one verse uh, from Revelations. Well, God began to speak to uh, John, Apostle John. Amen. John was on an island. He was in a place separated from the people. And in that place, that island place, uh, God began to uh, speak to John, began to give John revelation. Amen. And sometimes we don't understand why you are in a lonely place, but sometimes God uses that to give you revelation that he can speak to you one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, in Revelation uh, chapter 4, verse 1, and y'all can go ahead. I don't want you to turn there, Lord. Y'all go ahead and park in Hosea. Amen. Just wait there. But in Revelation chapter 4, verse 1, uh, John said, After this I looked, and behold, a door was opened. Amen. I, I really don't uh, want to preach this, but uh, God, God say a door represents opportunity. Amen. Uh, and as I was sitting there worshiping God, say, uh, read Revelation 4, 1 to him. I didn't know 
why I had to read it, but he's, uh, John said after this, I looked, amen, and behold, a door was open in heaven. Listen, God. And the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me. Uh, a trumpet uh, Uh, in the Bible, uh, you know, you know, today in the band and uh, choirs, they have uh, trumpets, and if we get the Hosea, we get the Hosea. Okay, Lord. Uh, they had something called a shofar or a shofar. Mm -hmm. Amen. And uh, anytime uh, it was blown, well, it wasn't blown, but for a few reasons, and one of those reasons were. Uh, there was something that was about to be said yes, that you need to pay close attention yes, to. Sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Uh, you, it, it's like when you heard the shofar, uh, it was as if the very next words, your life yes. depended on what was coming next. Yes. Uh, the other time uh, the shofar was blown was to let the people know uh, that it was war time. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, but the, the way that the shofar was made, uh, it came from a animal. Amen. Uh, and to get that animal's strength uh, or horn off of his head, that animal had to die. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Uh, it, it, it wasn't just uh, sent off to uh, the manufacturing company and you're going to get uh, a shofar, no. Uh, to have a real shofar, uh, a real sound from the heaven, it means something had to die. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and and uh, the title uh, here in Revelation 4 1 is uh, Heavenly Worship. Uh, we're, that's not my title, but that's what the title is in the Bible. And uh, to get a sound of heavenly worship here on earth there must be some things that got to die mm -hmm. and, and just so we can see it they have a channel on tv the national geographic channel uh uh i saw brother gamma as i was walking out on the yard uh and he was looking up in the trees and i i asked him i said what are you looking for your squirrels and uh he when i met him uh well when i re-met him uh, he was always talking about how God would teach him uh, through the squirrels. Amen. And, and he said while he was at the work release place, uh, he would begin to praise God and praise God. And, and the squirrels would come down and uh, watch him praise God. And, and then after he praised God, all the squirrels would just be sitting there. And he could actually get the squirrels to come up to him and to get nuts from him. He used to go to Walmart and feed them, uh, bring the stuff back. And, and he said, uh, uh, the guys at the work release center tried it, but it didn't work. Because the squirrels didn't know their voice. J John said, after this, I looked and behold, a door was open in heaven and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking yes, yes. with me. Right. And so this shofar uh, happens uh, to come from a, a large animal. Amen. And, and this animal must be put to death. And once this animal is put to death, uh, the shofar, uh, which we talk about as a trumpet, uh, is sent off and uh, the guy that makes the shofar, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, shapes the shofar and, and cleans, somebody say cleans, the shofar, knows that he has a very, very serious job. And he has something that's real strong, straight and it's, it's kind of stiff, Sister Lena, and it has a sharp end on it. And, and he would take it and begin to 
poke in the inside of it because he's trying to get the bones out of it. He's trying to get all of the flesh out of it. <laughs> because as long as flesh is in it, it's not going to release a pure sound. Mm -hmm. And so he knows how to blow it. And, and if he blows it, and, and, and sometimes because he thinks that all of it's out of it, uh, he blows it and it begins to make squeaks in it because some flesh is still in it. Lord have mercy. And the Lord sometimes will allow uh, us to be used, allow us to be called on, but in the midst of us being used and being called on, he hears something called flesh in us. Oh, that mercy. And once he hears the flesh in us, he has to take us back to the working place. Lord have mercy. He has to take us back to the potter's wheel. And on that wheel, he begins to work us and he begins to jug in areas of us uh, because he's trying to develop some character in us. He's trying to develop some integrity in us. He's trying to develop some humility in us. But uh, he hears a sound. Yes, we're singing and, and Brother Gamble, we're preaching. But the people can't pick up the things that God hears. I hear flesh still coming out. I, 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 I hear, I'm, I'm just telling you what God said. I, I, I hear you still trying to get your point across <laughs> when you sing it or when you preach it. Lord have mercy. And, and, and so this thing goes through a process yeah. of eliminating flesh. <laughs> it's a painful process. But God is trying to produce a sound out of you here on earth that sounds like heaven. Mm -hmm. That's all God, that's all, that's all he wants to hear is heaven here on earth. That's all God wants to hear out of us is heaven here on earth. Mm -hmm. And so John says, I, I saw a door, a a opportunity and it says this trumpet began uh, this thing that sounded like a trumpet it began to talk to me it said come up higher mm. all the Lord is saying is come up closer yeah yeah, yeah it's it, it, it's like this uh brother Gamma come here for a minute please I don't want you to come all the way but come and it's like we have got to this place in God and we want to be still there. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the Lord is saying, come up higher. That means I need you to come closer to me. And the, you can go ahead, go back. But the closer you get to God, the more flesh got to die. That's right. That's right. And some of us are content being right where you're at because you don't want to let the flesh John, John, John said, come up higher, and I will show the things which must be hereafter. Uh -huh. The closer you get to God, the more God can reveal to you. Mm -hmm. But I'm all right with just coming to church. Uh, I'm all right with just coming to Bible study. I'm all right with my seven-minute prayer or ten-minute devotion. Mm-hmm. I'm all right with that. I'm all right with confessing his word. But uh, uh, Paul said we need to know him in the fellowship of his suffering yes. and in the power of his resurrection. Yes. Yes. Paul also said I'm always bearing in my body yes. marks that I don't been through some hell also. Yes. And see, some of us don't want to go through nothing. We want a testimony. We want to talk about the anointing. But do you know, to experience the anointing, you got to go through some stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. How are you going to preach about a fire and, and talk about a fire and sing about a fire, but you don't want to go through a fire? Yes. How are you going to tell me that he's a deliverer and every time you see something, you run the other way? Yeah, there's a song say trouble don't last. That's that's what we sing. 
But when we're in the storm, we act like trouble lasts always. Yeah, yeah. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy, joy cometh in the morning. How are you going to get your morning and you tripping at nighttime? I'm just saying what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he said, come up higher. Come up higher, come up higher. He's, he's calling somebody closer because he wouldn't have said it to me. He's calling somebody and he's requiring more of you. I, I don't know how to sing that song, but I think there's a song, I want more of you. Yeah. And that's what the Lord is saying, I want more of you. And that just... Uh, like Pastor Dempsey said, that was my prelude, so that was a bonus. Yeah. Amen. You get, uh, sometimes, you know, McDonald's give you two for two. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. That was your bonus. Hosea, I'm going to set this time up. No, I'm not. Amen. Hosea chapter one. Amen. Uh, Y'all okay? Yeah. It's cold enough for you. Amen. God is still good. He's still faithful. Yes, he Amen. Amen. He's wonderful. Yes, he uh, I'm going to read uh, something from Hosea, and then I'm going to read something from the Gospel of St. Luke. And uh, Brother Ray is going to play a quick song for us to hear something. And I'm going to say what God gave me to say, and I'm going to uh, go on. Somebody say amen. 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 Uh, Hosea, the, the, I know Hosea take a while to find sometimes. Amen. Hey, Hosea, the, the first chapter, verse 9 and uh, verse 10. It then said, God called his name Lomi, for ye are not my people and I will not be your God. Verse 10, uh, yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. Listen right here. And it shall come to pass that in that place, somebody say that place, that place. where it was said unto them, ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of of the living God. Um, before I read it out the message Bible, I'm going to paraphrase this to you. Uh, God said that there was a time when people were saying that you're not nobody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, and they were saying, you, you can't be God's child acting like that. There was a place. And then God said, I'm going to allow it that I'm going to bring you back to a place where they say you wasn't nobody, then they're going to have to come back and say, yes, you are. Yes, yes. Lord have mercy. Yes. That, that, that there is enough to shout. Let me read it out the message Bible. He said, uh, name him nobody. You become nobodies to me. And I, God, am a nobody to you. But down the road, the population of Beesby, I mean Israel, yeah. is going to explode past counting, like sand on the ocean beaches. Amen. In the very place where they were once called nobody, they will be named God's somebody. Yeah. Everybody in Judah and everybody in Israel will be assembled as one people. Uh, let, let me Lord I'm, I'm going to give you my title and Ray going to play a song he still loves you Amen. and just in case you don't know want to make it personal he still loves me he still loves me I'm going to read this and Ray, you can put it on. Luke uh, 15. Yeah. 
If anybody in here while we're turning to Luke 15, 17 ever been in trouble? Yeah, I need y'all to talk back just a little bit. Have you ever found yourself in a situation that you didn't see yourself being in? Called trouble. Uh, have you ever found yourself doing something that you said you would never do? That's called trouble. Mm -hmm. uh, verse 17, and, uh, and when he came to himself, he said, how many hired servants of my father, Lord have mercy, have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger. I will arise and go to my father. And I will say unto him, listen, listen, uh, this talks about a, a prodigal son. That's somebody that uh, God wanted a better way of living, but they chose. Somebody say, I made a choice to live lower. Yes, yes, than I should have. And, and he said, I will arise and go to my father and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee. Uh, what I love about this prodigal son is uh, when he came back, he knew that he couldn't waste time just talking to everybody. Lord have mercy. Mm. Yeah, you, you'll catch that in a minute. Yeah, Brother Gamble, you, you know when you're really, 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 really in trouble, you need to get to the head. Yeah, yeah. You need to talk to the right people. Yeah, he say, and I'm no more worthy to be called thy son. He say, make me, Lord, have mercy. Make me, yeah, 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 make me, shape me, yeah, yeah. As one of thy hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him, Lord, have mercy. And had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. Yes. I'm talking about he looking like what he just came out. Yes. But his daddy still can recognize. Mm -hmm. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight and am no more worthy to be called, Lord have mercy. I'm no more worthy to be called, yes. Lord have mercy, thy son. He said, but the father, uh, if I can help you see this, the, the, the father didn't really pay a lot of attention to what he was saying. <laughs> no, son. Don't, don't talk like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He said, eh, eh, eh. but the father said to his servants, bring forth the best robe and put it on him. <laughs> what the father was doing was letting them know, y'all are servants. <laughs> This still my son. Lord have mercy. Good God. And put a ring on his hand. And shoes on his feet. Now that ain't it. Somebody say that ain't it. And bring hither the fatted calf. Uh, one text say bring the fat heifer. Good God. Lord have mercy. And let us eat it and be merry. For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they begin to be married now, Lord have mercy. We got to talk about this elder son a little bit too because the man had two sons. So it would be bad for us to just talk about one son because somebody would leave and think that he only had one son because you didn't ever get to talking to us about the other son. Now his older son was in the field. God talked to us. He's at the house but he's in the field. Mm. Uh, do y'all know that something happened between Cain and Abel when they went in the field? The field uh, represents the world. Yes, 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 yes. Come on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And 
He out here in the field in verse 25 and say, and as he came and drew nigh to the house, he heard, Lord have mercy, music. Yeah. Now, now, now listen to this. I can understand him hearing music, but it say he heard music and dancing. How can you hear dancing? Yeah. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I, I, I guess he just felt you know, if they playing music like that, Somebody got to be dancing, Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so he goes on and he, he, he calls one of the servants and, and because the servant knew that this was a son and he knew that he had to listen to him, uh, the servant ran on over there and, and, and he said, what's all that noise for? <laughs> yes. And he said unto him, thy brother is come. And your daddy, our boss, but your daddy has killed the fatted cow because he has received this son safe and sound. And the son that was at the house but in the field, look at this now was angry and would not go in mm -hmm. therefore his father came out yeah. to meet him yeah. his father came to try to bring him in and, and he said to his daddy all these years do I serve you yeah. and I ain't never seen that, that, that there uh shows me something about somebody being in the house but not in the house uh, 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 first of all he, he had an anger problem but long as everything was going right and, and certain people went around it didn't show up I'm, I'm just at verse 28 talking to you now and, and, and he was angry and would not go in so, so you telling me that, that, that because certain people uh, get around you're not going to participate I'm going to read verse 28 because I don't want nobody to believe that I'm telling you no story. And he was angry and would not go in. Therefore came his father out and entreated him. And he also said to his father, Lo, these many years do I serve thee, neither transgress I at any time. That big old line behind Joker there, that commandment, and yet you never gave me a kid that I might make merry with my friends. Mm -hmm. He said, but as soon as your son, not my brother, yeah, 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 yeah. As soon as your son done disowned, has come. Now the daddy didn't ask his son nothing to elicit this next statement. But let me show you how uh, people will sometimes uh, try to place themselves on a level above you yeah, yeah. and sneak and tell on you. Yeah, okay. He said, but soon as your son was come, which has devoured his living yeah. with harlots. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Do you know your son, while I'm up here home doing everything around the house, he out there tricking in the streets. Yeah. Well, Sorry about that. <laughs> he said he, he, he messing his money up with harlots. That means he out there uh, carrying himself wild with women that's not his wife. Harlots, prostitute. Yeah, yeah that's what he's saying. And, and he said, and you telling me you throw him a party? That sounds crazy, don't it, Sister Don? <laughs> the daddy never said, tell me what that boy was doing. But it's so funny that in church there's always somebody that want to tell what you were doing. Well, you ain't going to be able to play the song, but, but let, 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 me, let me tell you just a little bit. Uh, he still loves me. Lord have mercy. Yeah, yeah, you ought to tell your neighbor that he still loves me. Yes, yes, he still loves me. He, he still loves me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, you won't feel it yet. That to know after all you've been through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm talking about the sin and what you call not sin. He still loves you. That's good news. Let me talk to you a little bit about this word still. S-T-I-L-L. That means uh, during this and that time, <laughs> he still loves me. In spite of, he still loves me. It also means even when, he still loves me. Nevertheless, and besides all that, he still loves me. That's good news to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that stuff I done did in 44 years. I'm talking about the saved and the unsaved. He still, good God, loves me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I done tripped. I done got slapped drunk. Done smoked a little bit. I'm telling you. And he still loves me. Good God. And I know there's some other people here you might not have done what I've done, but he still loves you. Yeah, yeah. I'm one of the ones. I don't care whether you love. I want you to love me, but if you don't, he still loves me. You might have that old funny kind of love. You you might turn me off, but he still huh, loves me. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, 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 sometimes we can stop people from coming to church making them think that he don't still love them. But there need to be somebody out there in the parking lot to tell you that you might have just smoked last night, but he still loves you. You might have cheated on your wife, but he still loves you. You might be high right now. You might have him bathed you because you didn't have no soap. But he told me to tell you that he still loves you. I may have to take off this suit to tell you that he still loves you. You know how I know? Because even when I was in my mess, he still loves me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm tired of coming to church and hearing all these PG rated behind testimonies. Tell your real testimony. Tell somebody that you've been there and that you've done that. Tell somebody that you drunk something too. Tell somebody that you looked at somebody too. What do I mean by that? You may be saved. You may be sanctified. You may be Holy Ghost filled and fire baptized. But you done done something too. Now, now, because that's way back there in Luke 15. Don't get angry yet. Yeah, don't, 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 don't get angry yet. And, 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 and as I was sitting there by Brother Gamble, this is what the Lord, I said, Lord, I, I need you to put this thing together. <laughs> Lord, good God. Yes, sir. <laughs> Ray, you better stop. <laughs> you telling me he, he loves gang? Yes. See, see, this is how I know he loves her. See, 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 let me show you something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He don't love the act. Mm -hmm. He loves the person. Yes. And see, this is what I've come to grips with. I am not the thing that I've done. Lord have mercy. Oh, good. I might have sold drugs, but that's not who I am. That's before I found out who I was. Lord have mercy. And see, if you don't know who you are, yeah, yeah, you might find yourself... Lord have mercy. Yeah, yeah. A little messed up. Ray, it's only one way you could have did this better. You should have put me right there. Where that joker got that idea and that name tied. You see it with a prison number? Mine is 37, 20, 46. I still remember that. But that, that ain't who I am. I'm a king's kid. <laughs> yes, I am. I done some stuff to get that number. I didn't have to do nothing but accept him and believe in him to become a king's kid. Lord have mercy. Yeah, I, well, how in the world he got hate up there? And how in the world he got drugs up there? How in the world he got a white collar guy up there smoking and burning money? You know why? Because that looked like us. Yes. See, see, this to me looks like a thief. Or a crook. Yeah. And all of us got some crook in us. Yeah. You don't believe it? Yeah. <laughs> but let me talk to you about Hosea so we can hurry and go home. <laughs> it's one o'clock of that clock room. Okay, we got to go in. We got to obey God. This guy by the name of Hosea happened to be a prophet of God. And, and God told Hosea, if you look in uh, Hosea chapter 1, it said at the beginning 
of the word of the Lord coming to Hosea. One text said, when God first started talking to Hosea, God said, go down there and get you one of the wives of the whoredoms. He said, I want you to go get you one of them whores. Yes. I want you to go down and get you one of them prostitutes. And I want you to go up there and get you no woman that's saved, sanctified on the choir and preaching in the church. I need you to go outside the church and I need you to marry somebody outside, not because I'm going to burden you, but I need my people to see themselves. And see, our problem is we never see ourselves in the word of God. We always see somebody else. I wish sister would have been here Sunday. I wish brother would have been here Sunday. You the sister and you the brother that should have been here because God predestined it for you to hear what you needed to hear. I know right now some of y'all want to get locked down, want to get out of the door, but guess what? The message has arrived that God wants us to know. Look in the mirror. You done done some dirt too. Yeah, so, so, so he tells Hosea to go down there and marry uh, one of these women uh, of the whoredoms. Let me, you, you know, just in case y'all, you know, uh, I, I like to tell people uh, uh, what, what, what the word whoredom means. That's somebody that's practicing in whorism. Okay. Uh, what is whorism? Yeah, I, I, I'm feeling it right now. Uh, whorism is not always you you participating in uh, sex. Horrorism is a form of idolatry. Lord have mercy. And, and, and he said our problem is uh, what is an idol? It's any time you give devotion uh, to anything visible or tangible or someone and you go hard after it and you go after it in the wrong way. Do you tell me uh, so, so, so what you're telling me uh, that you're telling me that I can make a thing an idol. Yes, you can. Yes. Oh, yes. You can make a person an idol. Yes, yes. yes you can. Yes. You can make a career an idol. Yes, yes you can. Yes. Your pride can be your idol. Your ego can be your idol. Uh huh. Anytime you're trying to fulfill stuff that self wants to gratify your own flesh, that's your idol. That's a form of horrorism. So now when we see them on the corner, we won't look at them because guess what? They don't always walk on the corner. Sometimes they have a job and they have this, this unusual desire for power and for position. I just got to get to this place. I just got to get to this place of authority. I, I, I grow up wanting to be this. Yeah, yeah. And so uh, Hosea has to marry this woman that had a problem called fornication. And that word fornication comes from this word in the Greek called pornea. P O R N E A. That's our short brain in America of pornography. It takes somebody almost all the way off to have an unusual desire for somebody that they only can just see. It can't do nothing for you. They ain't thinking about you. Let me stop. And so, 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 so. He has to go down here and he didn't go pick up Michelle, but he picks up Gomer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It would have been all right if he would have came to church and introduced to the church Sunday. Uh, here's my wife, uh, Sister Michelle. Mm -hmm. But he had to say, here's my wife, Sister Gomer. Mm -hmm. Good Lord have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you're laughing at you. I ain't talking about us, but you, can you imagine how some of them teachers laugh when they try to say some of our children name? I'm going to leave that long just a little thought. But Hosea names mean God is salvation. Gomer names me to finish or complete. Hosea has to go and obey God outside the church. He has
has to go and pick him up a woman off the corner. Not worrying about what they going to say or what he was doing. And see, a lot of times we can't do what God has called us to do because we're worrying about what they going to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he gets this woman and he, you know, he got the vow because you know what she was doing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to get you to see this thing. Yeah. And God had to buy us yes, he did. Yeah. also with his blood. Yeah. So Hosea and Gomer is not just a story. Yeah. It's us. Yeah. Yes. I know you don't see yourself out there doing that, but guess what? If, if we wasn't do the, doing that, why did he have to buy us back? Yes. Yes. So Hosea goes and buy, buy purchases her. Uh, knowing that she was a Ray, you better stop. Somebody go out to limit him on, 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 on. good Lord. <laughs> Somebody got to limit him with that technology. <laughs> My wife ain't even give me no little head or nothing over there. She just filming. But he goes and buy a prostitute. Now watch God here. They have three children together. And she goes back to doing what she was doing before he bought her. And don't think just because you get saved that ain't part of you and you don't want to go back sometime. Lord, talk to us. Huh. Brother Ray, ain't nobody going to testify that they got a little bit of Goma in them that, 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 that I don't got married, I don't got saved. And, and, and I'm telling the people, I'm showing them that me and my, my wife uh, or me and my husband uh, went on vacation. But, but Goma shows me that even after. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Yeah. And, and she goes back. The reason she goes back, because she thought it was better because of material things. Yeah. Yeah. She said, I'm going back out here to holler at my lovers. I'm going back out here so I can get me me. Uh, it's, 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 it's in the book. <laughs> and, and so Hosea found himself waking up almost daily, had to go looking for his wife. Not knowing if she was going to be riding with one of the boys with the 24s or wonder if somebody from the schoolhouse done picked up or one of the preachers from the church done picked up. But Hosea knew that uh, I, I can't go to sleep and, and, and think that if I sleep too hard that she's going to be in here because she got something in her just like us called the flesh that every now and then you got to tell your flesh that no, I ain't going back. No, no, no. I ain't going back to the club. I thank God that God is allowing some clubs to shut down because you know when you go by certain places your mind run back and you think about certain songs I guarantee you right now if I say two or three songs some of your feet are packed right now but I ain't gonna bother that right now because I'm gonna let you go and act like it don't bother you right now because I know and you know that there's a few songs that can go across your, your internet and go across your TV and make you skip a beat and you ain't talking about praising God you're talking about John and you're thinking about Susan but God has to keep us Somebody tell the truth. But we ain't talking about nobody in here. We're going to talk about Jose and Goma. We're just going to talk about Jose and Goma, two dead people that's going to talk to us. And so uh, God told him what was going to happen. He said, Because I need to let Israel, my people, know that they have committed whoredom. He said, But what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut off. Some of the things that she want to do when she can't get to them. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Come on, out. There are some things that some of us might have wanted to go to or some people you might have wanted to go back to that God cut it off. Yeah. And if God hadn't cut it off, he knew you were headed there. So God had to allow, yeah, yeah, I know you're, you're glad you're telling people I'm glad this will move. No, you're glad that God moved them because you were struggling with them. Yeah. He said, when the spirit of the Lord move on my heart, I'm going to dance like David danced. But when the conviction of the Lord hit my heart, I'm going to sit still and not let the people know what's happening. But so what happens, God says this in Hosea. He said, he said I'm going to allure them to the wilderness. 
I'm going to allow them to get to a, a wilderness place. That's not a place of punishment. That's a place of privacy. Yeah, yeah. Where I can deal with them one on one. And let them know that you thought it was better out here, but it's not. not. I thank you. That's how he had to deal with Gomer. And at the same time, he had to give Hosea a special love to know that no matter what she does, I need you to love her. No matter how bad she come home looking and who she smell like, and you know that's not your cologne, but I need you to love her. And I'm telling you, if, if you one of the ones that done some of everything and then God still will wash you in the blood and still will breathe new life in you, you will sooner or later you'll say, Lord, I love you. Lord, you still shouldn't be loving me like this, but some kind of reason, it, it sounds so crazy that you loving me, I need to change my ways. Yes, yes. And that's what God wants us to do because he's been loving us and we've been smelling like the world. We've been smelling like this and we've been smelling like that, but he's steady washing us with his blood. He's steady covering us with his blood and we by now ought to say, I'm tired of this. I'm like the, the prodigal son. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. I have done enough. I've been out there. I've been there and I've done that they ain't doing nothing new and you ought to know ain't no reason for you to go back out there because you've been there and you've done that and let me tell you a few things about sin I got to tell you uh, sin will leave you in a, say, a state that will make you feel distant and separated yeah. that's what he did he went to a far country yeah. and when he spent all he joined himself to a citizen of that country now let me tell you this a, a citizen of that country be careful who you connect and join with because it can help you or it can hurt you be careful who you connected with I know this youth Sunday but all of us are going to be kids today I got to be very careful who I connect with let me, let me, I, I used to like music not because I knew the song because I wanted to play loud in my car I, I, I don't pick up, most of the time when we sing it, I'm karaoke and just lip syncing. Because I don't grab a song that fast. And I used to go up there to this place called Ultimate Sound. And you know, nice, y'all know what nice nasty is? Yeah. Brother Arthur, you know what nice nasty is? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let me tell you what nice nasty is. I would deal with my friends all day doing, selling drugs and all this and then we drinking. And I had one friend that used to hook up music, but I wouldn't let him touch my stuff. And I had some friends, you know, that would do the actual cocaine, but I wouldn't run that close to him because I didn't trust him. And the Lord said, you got some real nice, nasty way, like what you're doing is better. Come on. You will make money here out the streets, but you won't let nobody touch that car because you know what? It's your idol. And so this car that I had, I, I went in, Sylvie bought me the car. Amen. She paid a little bit for the car, and I put almost $20,000 in a car that cost hundreds. Mm -hmm. And because I was decorating my idol, come on, come I didn't on. want everybody to touch it. And so Sister Donna, uh, you know, the guy say, T, I can fix it, it's just a fuse. I say, if you blow a fuse and my car blow up, you're going to say, uh-oh. But if they blow it up there in the same place, they're going to go to the shelf. So that's how I was. And so this is how the Lord showed me this thing. I would sell crack all day. I wouldn't hang with nobody that robbed but Leroy. That's the deal for y'all. Y'all don't know Leroy. Because that's my friend. And see, some of us got some of that. I don't want to be around nobody that wrong but Leroy. All right. Because of our relationship, I can't see what he's doing. Lord have mercy. Yeah. And see, some of us get blind. It's Lord have mercy. Especially if it's our kinfolk. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and, and so what happened? What happened? Oh, I got saved. I got saved. We ain't gonna bother that car. I got saved and I'm working at Publix and this young man by the name of Yaya, uh, he walks up to me and I'm, I'm teaching him how to mix at Publix. 
And while I'm teaching him how to mix that puppets, he come up to me one day. He said, I called my mother uh, last night and I told her uh, that you the daddy I never had. And I almost cried that night for him telling me that, just working with him and just telling him to let it go, this ain't, gonna, this ain't worth this. And, and, and you know, so everybody at the job is, uh, is liking Yanya because Yanya a young, light-skinned guy, he dressed nice. I'm talking about if he came here right now, y'all don't know that's Yanya. And Yanya said, uh, he said, did you hear what happened to my car? I said, no. And he said, I was going down the road the other day. And I had heard in the job that Yanya music was so loud that it would shake the building. But I'd never go outside to hear it. And uh, I, I knew what music sound like. And so uh, he said, I looked in the rear view mirror, God talked to us. And he said, I saw my car smoking in the bank. He said, I saw fire in the back seat. And he said, I pulled over because I had a fire hydrant. He said, I put it out. He said, I took it. Uh, he said, everybody was running around looking at some of your stuff on fire. He said, I took it back to uh, the people that hooked it up. And they said, you had a bad connection. God mm. talked to us. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said, the, the, the wires that you have hooked to one another can't handle the kind of power that's trying to flow through it so it caught on fire. And see, some of the reason why you're experiencing trouble now is because you connected to somebody that can't handle what God has put in you. I said, so y'all, y'all, what did you do? He said, I, I left my truck with the technicians and let them rerun my wires. And see, all I'm saying is sometimes you got to give it to God so he can rerun yeah. your wires. Yeah. Because once you get the right connection, yeah. you'll be able to produce a better power. Yeah. There will be a better flow of the anointing yeah. because you're connected to the right people. Yeah. And, and so what happens, this young boy, he say, I joined myself to somebody in a, 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 a far country. And, and while I'm out there, I done spent all, and he said, I would have gladly, that word fame me, uh, I thought about doing some things that I never would have done. Yeah. And then he said, I came to a place where I thought about it that I went too far. Too far. Yeah. And I see myself living money. Mm -hmm. and, and, and he said, uh, after he came to himself, he said, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to rise and go back home. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He said, "I'm gonna." Uh, uh, he he he's preparing uh, to get back connected with his daddy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he says, "I'm gonna go and tell my daddy that I've sinned against heaven and against him." And as he makes his way back, as he makes his way back, listen to this. He's coming out of a wild lifestyle. That's righteous living. Uh, he's coming out just doing whatever the world does. And it says that while he was yet a far way off, yeah. his daddy recognized him. Yeah. And all I want to tell you that no matter what you've done, your daddy still recognize you. Yeah. I don't care how you dress up. Anyone out there to come in the house dressed any kind of way, we recognize yeah. them. And, and what his daddy done is, is something that we need to pay close attention to. Uh, his daddy ran to him mm -hmm. and fell on him and kissed him. I, I know that don't mean nothing to you. Yeah. But the, the Jewish custom was this. If a rebellious child would come back into the city and, and, and because he had damaged the name of the father, uh, the elders would stand at the city gate with stones and would stone them to death. And so what the daddy did, he moved in love and compassion. And he took off and ran to his child and began to cover his child so that if the elders see anybody, they'll see daddy. See, because if he don't cover us, the enemy will get to us. 
And see, God knows that I got to recognize terrorists. Though he's in the county jail, though he's in DOC, I got to cover him because if, he, if I don't cover him, when he get back to church, the church people will kill him. They'll talk about what he done did yesterday, what he doing in here, but I got to cover him. Let me tell you when he, he starts calling you. He started when he started coming through 40 and two generations. He had me on his mind when he walked through every generation. He said, I got to get down here. If I got to go to the county jail, I got to cover him. Because if I don't cover him, the church will kill him. If I don't cover his family, this disname him. So I got to cover him. I'm talking about the unconditional love of God. God said, I want to cover you and let you know I still love you. Yeah, yeah. He wants you to know that I still love you. I don't care if they, they know your background. What you need to do is learn how to take the love of God right in their face. Because when you get to church, when you get to church, and I tell people this all the time, all oh, glory to God, I'm glad I got saved before I came to church. Yes. I got saved in the county jail. Mm-hmm. Yes. So it don't bother me when they start talking about jailhouse religion because they start saying that they must be ain't read this New Testament because most of them were pent in prison. I would rather have a jailhouse relationship with God than to be so religious educated that I don't have a relationship with God. And some of us know the word but don't know the God of the word. Can't apply the word because we're too busy being law keepers trying to kill somebody, trying to get somebody to fulfill something you can't fulfill. Because just like this boy that stayed around the house saying what you ain't doing right there tells me that you done done something. Right there tells me that you got a heart problem. Yeah. Party pooper. Somebody say party pooper. That's what the boy was. He was a party pooper. He didn't want nobody to have a celebration in church because he was a party pooper. Yeah, he was miserable but I guarantee you he wanted to go out there because how did he know what the other boy was doing? Yeah. Uh -huh. it, it's, it's so funny. It, it, it's so funny but not here, not here Hope. Not here Hope. How, they don't come out there but they know everything we do. Oh, this, this ain't here. Let me tell you what I found out. <laughs> me and Sylvia uh -huh. didn't have no kids out of it while we were married. We had, we had them before. They wasn't no mistake. No. A mistake is when you're slipping. Sylvia, we, 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 we. <laughs> that wasn't no mistake, was it? And see, we know that we did it wrong. We're not bragging about it. Uh -huh. And so when people hear me say, me and my wife got this many kids, the, the, the testimony that most Christians want to leave is we had all these children once we got in the church. Yeah. Oh, boy, going but then when people start asking questions, if you, you know, people be riding and listening to your testimony. You know, they said he's been together this long. There's some children. And they said been, you, you, don't get crazy up in here now. And, and what I'm trying to tell you is, even though we're married and we got all our children with us, that don't mean we got all of them after holy matrimony. Yes, yes, yes. So we ain't got no room to kill nobody yes. if they have a baby out of wedlock. Because what I found out, Sister Donna, that even though some got their children at the wedlock, don't mean that they waited to wedlock. But that's the aroma they want you to thank. Yeah. Holier than now. Yeah. And they talk like that. Yeah, they they, they, <laughs> it, it don't bother me. You ask your question, I'm going to tell you while I'm praising him. Because he still loves me. It's called agape love. It's unconditional love. And I'm going to share this with you as we get ready to go. Uh, this, this, this daddy, as this boy was repenting, he was restoring him. Yeah. He said, bring the best robe. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to give him no rubbing down stuff because it's my son mm -hmm. or this is my daughter. So give him the, the best robe. Yeah. I'm going to give my sons and my daughters the, the best stuff. 
And the role represented that he was still in a royal family. And so you got to know that you're connected to a royal family. And then he say, give him the ring so he can know that he belongs to somebody. That he's still in a relationship. And the thing I really love is he say, bring him some shoes so he can put them on his feet. Slaves back then weren't able, uh, was told not to wear shoes. They wanted to always be able to identify one of them running. But because he was a son, he said, give my son some shoes so that he won't everybody know he's going somewhere. And all he was saying, I'm dressing him for his destiny. Even though he came out the whole pit, it's a real love yeah. for God to allow you to come out of what you come out and begin to give you his best stuff. Yeah. You ain't got to earn it, but I'm talking about God Say, I want to release to you my best stuff. Yeah, yeah, I understand they mad, they're going to talk about it, they're going to tell your testimony, but if you know where I brought you from, you ought to get up on your feet and tell somebody that he still loves me in spite of this and in spite of that and, and yeah 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 I know the Bible talk about one wife yeah I know some people Lord have mercy I know somebody might be done did my background check you ain't had to do that I could have told you I got a divorce but I come to tell you that is my one wife Lord have mercy you can scripturize it all you want to but that is my one wife yeah 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 ain't God alright yeah we get real real educated we get real real spiritual when we doing somebody else background but that is my one wife hallelujah yeah yeah God is a good God God is a keeping God you ain't got to sneak and get nobody testimony they don't mind telling you that if it had not been for the Lord on my side I would not be married I would not be alive I would not be at hope I would it must be in my right mind but I come to tell you that I once was lost yeah yeah I'm talking about past tense but now I'm found I once was blind but now I see you ought to tell somebody that if it God had not had done it you wouldn't be able to smile you're hot in the world brother Gamma. y'all got a preacher with all them gold teeth you know why because God kept me with the gold teeth they might not shine like they used to but I give my testimony with the gold teeth because he could have allowed somebody to knock them out but God kept me <laughs> yes sir he take them out for you no when I take them out, it's going to be by choice, not by force. Because the goals with or without don't have no anointing. You, 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 you really want my testimony? You really want my background? Uh, no, no, I know you don't. <laughs> Tattoos everywhere. But still say, ha! Hey, Lord have mercy. Tattoos everywhere, but still say. Oh, yeah. Here, let the people know. Yeah, God done it. Yeah, yeah, God done it. Yeah, God done it. Yes, he did. God done it. Yes, he did. I ain't finna come in here and get good for you. You know why? Because one of my favorite songs says, Amazing Grace. How sweet the sound that saved not a good preacher, but saved a wretch just like me. And see, I know some of you don't understand what a wretch means, but guess what a wretch means? If you don't understand it, that means you and me. Grace sounds so sweet when you're in the county jail and they're telling you you're not going to get out till you was 52. Grace sounds so sweet when they're telling you that you'll never hug your wife or never hug your baby. But grace comes in and defies the odds because if it wasn't for the grace of God, if it had not, Lord have mercy, I'm trying to talk to you about grace. God's unmerited favor. I ain't talking about I beat a trial. God had to interrupt something because I done it. I don't want to talk to a people that's always saying they ain't done it. I would was guilty but guess what he stepped in my place he was my substitute and he took my charge there's some people in here you ought to know that God took your charges it's all about the blood it's all about the blood it's all about the blood I mean it's all about the blood it's all about the blood it's all about the blood it's all yeah 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 it's all about the blood it's all about the blood yes yeah, all about the blood every time I look back Psalms 23 tells me goodness yeah yeah and mercy following me I don't see bullets I don't see disease I don't see sickness I see goodness 
I see mercy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You better check and see what's behind you. Uh, goodness and mercy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't been in some situation where guys don't came and told me, Jordan, that people paid them to rob me. And I've never been robbed. I don't been in cars when the whole car was shot up and never had a bullet in them. Ain't God all right? You know why? Because of purpose. And I'm trying to tell you, you might be in something right now, but purpose, yeah. When purpose begin to call you, you begin to recognize what God has called you to do. Hey, God would defy the odds. God would defy the odds. Yeah, God would defy the odds. And I got, you know, I got a strange faith mentality. I'm almost really messed up. And the reason I'm almost really messed up because I didn't get out with a mentality thinking that I can't get no job because of my past. Or I couldn't get a job because I'm black. The devil is a liar. The problem why people can't get a job with their past and because they color is because that's what they believe. God always blowing my mind. Man, if y'all know some of the people, keys and coals I got in their house, y'all will be saying, what? No, you know what I just said? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes. Yeah. My Lord. Yeah. And I'm having to tell on us. Uh-huh. I only do about, in a month, probably about three black people cars, and they ain't all the way black. Yeah. They mix. Yeah. And most black people be locking their cars, and I be laughing inside. Yeah. You ain't got nothing, I promise you, that I steal. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Mm-hmm. People leave me with houses and thousands just laying around. Yeah. Jewelry and all this stuff. You know? Not because I'm perfect, but because God done gave me favor. T, will you lock my company up? Not preacher. The preacher don't go watch cars. T or Terrace. I don't use that for them to trust me. I'm a Christian. That ain't doing nothing. Do you understand? Yeah. 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 Do, do you know I go to Hope 5209, Smith Riles Road, Plant City, Florida, and I passed another church over here in Beesville. You know that church? Sir, let me know when you leave, okay? That, that's, that's, that's what they want to hear. Yeah. The, don't, don't do all that extra talking. Yeah. Either they're going to trust you or not. Either they're going to say, come back and do my call on here, or you're going to leave me, because I promise you, I ain't going to go to jail for no stealing cars. Amen. He loves me. He loves and I ain't got the little rolls to do the little thing after I used to do for dollar. He loves me. You know what? I'm glad I know. Because he loves me. I know Alpha Alpha says she loves me, not but he loves me. <laughs> Every rolls I pick off, he still loves me. That's good news. That, 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 that I can't say nothing to say he loves me, not because he still loves me. He woke me up this morning and made me say, he still loves me. He kissed me with new mercies. He still loves me. He surrounded me with favor. He still loves me. Yes, yes. He loves me. He loves me. He gave me peace of mind. He still loves me. He gave me joy, unspeakable joy. He still loves me. Active use of my limbs. He still loves me. Everybody on your feet. Everybody on your feet. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He still loves me. He still loves me. He still loves me. Yes, God. Yeah, when I look back, I don't see nothing but love and the blood. Yes, God is good. That was in 1993. Yeah. He still loves me. When he was thinking about preaching, I was in prison yeah. in 93, thinking about when I got out, how much more. I was like Hosea saying, what I'm going to do when I get out, I'm going to do it on a bigger level. That, that, that's, that's, that's who that was. And seven waited on me to come back out and do the same thing. You know that had to be the love of God to hold her in place? Because when I went, I wasn't preaching. And wasn't talking about no marriage. 
So what I'm trying to tell you, there's some people that God knows that he will put in place for you. They won't even understand why they're waiting on you. Don't even have a reason to wait on you. I'm going to sniff and give y'all a little bit of her testimony. You going to wait on him again, Sivvy? You going to wait on him again? And they were like the prodigal son. You know what he did? You know he did and you waited. But September 22nd 2000 Sister Lynn. In the same courthouse that they locked me up in. Didn't have a big wedding, ain't having a hundred dollars. <laughs> you say, with this, I do wed. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. I'm talking about being kept by the love of God. Yeah, God will do it. God will do it. God will do it. I, I just wish for a minute you can see yourself up there. Yeah. I wish you could just see something you've done. See somebody that you've talked about. See somebody you've criticized. See somebody you've bite by. See somebody that you hate to see the very appearance of them. Just, just see somebody. Yes. And to know he still loves us after all of our stuff. Yes. Why can't we show his love to others? Yes. Father, we thank you, God. And God, we pay so much attention to Hosea being the prophet, God, that, that sometimes we forget about Gomer. But God, there was a time that she came on by God. Yes. She didn't come back by force, but God, she recognized it by your spirit, if I can say it, God, that I need to go back. And God, just like the prodigal son, God, sometimes you allow us, God, to to come to a low place yes. to want to come home God yes. and Father I pray right now in the name of Jesus God that we know that you still love us God Thank you. in the name of Jesus God you still recognize your babies you still recognize your sons you still recognize your daughters and God you still have great things for us and Father, you, you didn't take them back, God, because you loved us, God. Yes. Father, I thank you right now for the youth in this place, God. Thank you, Father. And Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, that as I stretch forth my hands, God, that you release, God, into them, God, their identity, God, that they know who they are in you, God. Yes. Reveal to them their calling and their purpose in the name of Jesus, God. Yes. God, reveal to them, God, the connections that they have, God, that they ought not have, God. In the name of Jesus, God, reveal to them, God, the connection that is hindering them from flowing in your anointing, God. Father, I thank you right now, God, for you unhooking wa bad wires. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for the changes that they're going to see quickly, God. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Father, we thank you right now, God, how you are bringing us back. Yes. Father, we don't have to walk in condemnation, God. But, Father, we can walk knowing, God, yes. that you love us. Yes. And, Father, we want to make you smile, God. God, we want to make you smile with our walk, with our talk, God. With our faith, God. We want to make you smile with our worship, God. That it don't be just a lot of lip stuff, God, but it be from the heart, God. That we become the songs that we're singing, God. In the name of Jesus, God. God, let us be hope to somebody, God. Let us not just tell people that we go to hope, God. Let them see hope, God, and, and transformation in us, God. Father, help us not to be self-righteous, God. No. And Father, help us not to walk in anger, God. No, Lord. Father, nowhere in the text I see that the son ever forgave his brother, God. 
Help us, God, to know how to forgive God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus right now, God. Father, I thank you that we are in a season, God, where people are going to hear, God, that there's music and dancing going on in these earthen vessels. And people are going to know that, God, you've changed our name, God. In spite of what they said about us, God, in that very same place, God, they're going to say that God's hand is on them. And Father, I hear you right now saying, God, and I don't know who all is for, God. It may be a corporate or personal prophecy, but God said they counted you off. And they counted you out. But I'm going to raise you up. And they're going to see me raise you up. In the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you for melting the desire of the enemy, God. Father, I thank you right now, God, for your word, God. Bringing healing and deliverance. Even right now, God, at this self, same hour, God. God, you're encouraging hearts, God. You're letting them know that, uh, God, all of us have sinned, God. And come short of your glory, God, but you still loved us. God, it's time for us to arise and be that royal priesthood, God. That holy nation, God. That peculiar people, when everybody's doing this, God, we're still standing. We're still confessing and decreeing the word, God. God, because we're peculiar, God. And Father, I thank you right now, God, for the assignment, God, that you have given us, God. Father, I thank you right now for you dressing us for our destiny, God. And Father, for you calling us to be sons and daughters. Sons and daughters of of the king. Not of a king, but the the king. Knowing that we are the righteousness of you, God, in Christ Jesus. Father, I thank you for making us right through the blood. God, we can't make ourselves right. We can't save ourselves. We can't deliver ourselves, God. But you can. Father, I thank you right now, God. That we can... Walk in joy, God. Having this song in our heart that no matter all that I've been through, Mm. I still got joy. Yes, Yes, as we look back, God, we still got joy. This world can't take it away, God. We still got joy. My job, my family, my past, yeah, my weakness, God, can't take it away. I still got joy God and God we have this joy because our name is written God in the Lamb's book of life God it may not be on the church roster God but it's written in heaven by the blood God Father I thank you right now God Father I thank you for hope right now thank you Lord Father we thank you for hope right now God because hope is here God And Father, I thank you for each and every person that's here, God, that this word has landed on good ground, God. And it will bring forth much fruit in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We praise you and give you all the glory. And it's in Jesus' mighty name. Let us all say amen. If anybody in the building that don't know Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior, amen. We all say.